132,000 Lego bricks. Sprouts, he's obviously a hard worker. And a model to your right, we've nicknamed Lazy Pete. Lazy Pete was constructed out of 132,000 Lego bricks. Turn off the water. I said, turn off the water. It's already turned off. Hello down there. Well, hello up there. Hey, you two, we're best friends. He talks to me all the time. Right in front of us, we get to see our little elven LC. LC was constructed out of 283,000 Lego bricks. Now the one thing we are proud of here in Legoland with is that safety comes first. Nothing ever goes wrong. Uh, what are you guys doing up there? There's gas in the boat. Stop goofing around and get back to work. I don't know how much longer I can hang on. Whoa, down below. Help! I've got it. Just hang on. Whoa! Ah! Don't worry, guys. He's perfectly safe. He's been hanging around there over 10 years, and I don't think he'll ever let go. Uh, thank you. I'll be here all night. Now, how many of you want to ride my boat again? One person. I'm so popular. If you guys look on your left-hand side, you'll see the pride of Sydney, Australia, the Sydney Opera House. The Opera House stands over 300 feet tall, has over 1,000 rooms, and it took over 14 years to build. Creating our version took a little less time, and approximately 160,000 Lego bricks were used. As we make our way onto the landscape bridge, we'll be visiting a monumental labor of love for my king to his queen, the Taj Mahal. Again, I repeat it, it is called the Taj Mahal. It is not the White House, and it's definitely not, I repeat, not where Princess Jasmine lives. <laughs> On your left, the Taj Mahal was built in the 17th century. It took about 22 years and required nearly 20,000 people to complete. Creating our version took a little less time of people, but used approximately 143,000 Lego bricks. This model alone weighs over 900 pounds. Next is Paris, France, the Eiffel Tower to be more precise. The Eiffel Tower was named after designer Gustave Eiffel. It was built in 1889. Today stands over 1,000 feet tall and weighs over 10,000 tons. Creating our version took approximately 120,000 Lego bricks. Some people say if you stand at the top of the tower and look down, you might get an eyeful. Right in front of us, we get to see our Lego Falls. Our Lego Falls are created with approximately zero Lego bricks, just a bunch of rocks and one tree in the middle. As we head back to the United States, the Black Hills of South Dakota to be exact, we get to see our own version of Mount Rushmore. Uh, Mount Rushmore was created with approximately 83,000 Lego bricks. Uh, there you see Presidents Roosevelt, Lincoln, and Jefferson. And it looks like George Washington is getting a bit of extra attention. Right in front of us, we see the New York Harbor area with a Statue of Liberty which stands about 22 stories above her pedestal. Creating our version took approximately 204,000 Lego bricks. Behind her, we see the New York skyline which includes the Empire State Building, Grand Central Station, the Chrysler Building, and our newest addition to the very left, the Freedom Tower. If you have a chance to walk through Miniland, you'll see that Miniland was created out of 20 million Lego bricks. But at Legoland alone, there are over 40 million Lego bricks. When walking through Miniland, make sure you look